Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan from Green Tech Network and today I'm going to be showing you what comes with your purchase when you buy my Raspberry Pi three-piece aluminum heatsink kit. Now this heatsink kit is available for purchase on my ebay.com store under the name Green Tech Network. I'm going to include a link in the video description to both my eBay store and also the listing for this exact heatsink kit. So if you want to go ahead and purchase them, you can just click on it and go right to eBay and purchase with PayPal. Eventually, I'm planning on putting a video review out just to show you how well these heat sinks work with the Raspberry Pi. Basically, these heat sinks are designed to cool off the Raspberry Pi to allow proper overclocking and also extend the life of your Raspberry Pi. So without further ado, let's look at the product. Here's a close up of what you receive with your purchase. All of the heat sinks come packaged in this little anti-static bag to ensure that they're not damaged within shipment. This anti-static bag with the heat sinks inside it will be put in a larger envelope and shipped to you. As you can see, the three heat sinks are inside it. And now I will open up the anti-static bag and show you the heat sinks themselves. Here's a close up of the individual heat sinks you receive once you have unpackaged them. In the middle you have here the CPU heat sink and on either side you have the two smaller integrated circuit heat sinks. The middle heat sink measures about 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters by 5 millimeters and the two smaller ones both measure about 9 millimeters by 9 millimeters by 5 millimeters. These heat sinks are pretty much designed to fit on perfectly so there is not a whole lot of overhang or underhang or whatever you want to call it. On the backs of the heat sinks, which is really nice for users who just want an easy application, is thermal tape. Now what thermal tape does is it basically allows heat transfer between the component you're trying to cool and the heat sink. It's two-sided tape, so it sticks to both the heat sink and the component. All you have to do is peel it off. Now I'm not going to peel it off these ones because I have yet to apply these to my Raspberry Pi. But basically, you just get your fingernail under the corner and peel off the adhesive paper. So there's like a, a wax paper on it to protect the stickiness of the tape. And you just peel that off and then stick them right on either the CPU for this one or the integrated circuits for these ones. All in all, these heat sinks are great for the average Raspberry Pi user who's looking to cool off their device, whether it be for overclocking or extending the life of the Raspberry Pi. If you have any questions about these heat sinks or questions about any of my other listings on eBay, I sell Raspberry Pi cases, Raspberry Pi sensors, and a lot of other electrical engineering and Raspberry Pi accessories and stuff like that. But if you have any questions about any of that stuff, be sure to message me through the eBay messaging system because eBay likes me to use their messaging system if the transaction is on eBay. But I hope this review has been informative and that it told you exactly what you needed to know about what you receive when you purchase this heatsink kit from me. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.